first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahabakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, his son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And yeah, the spirit is what? The spirit is willing, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. So Salakia, if I sound a bit blocked up and all that, it's my withdrawal from what? The unleavened. The unleavened bread really does mess you up. Salakia, the bread, the leavened bread really does mess you up. Especially when you stop eating it. Okay, so that's why I'm having particular effects with my body, but it is what it is. So Lord willing, this ain't gonna be as long as it usually is because I'm running out of battery. But I wanna give it all I got. Because that's what we're here to do, to preach Yahabashai, to preach the good news and the end of his kingdom. Okay, so I wanna start off with maybe just a minute. We're gonna go straight into it. This is second edges. 15 and 17. Yeah, a man shall desire to go into a city. Why is a man going to desire? And desire means to, to covet. Right? So a man's going to covet to get into a city. Okay? And shall not be able. Why? Because it's going to be lockdowns, martial law. Okay, all these different things are going to happen. It's going to be like a knock-on effect of different events. Okay? I shall not be able. It's going to be barricades in the roads. Barricades. Lockdowns. And what's that going to cause? Rationing of food. So the food's also going to be rationed as well. And all these things are going to have a domino effect. Okay? And you're seeing these things on a small scale. Food prices going up. Okay? And it says, because of their pride. So it's because of the pride of these cities. And all these cities are prideful. The cities shall be troubled. So you're going to see rioting, you're going to see pillaging. You're going to see a lot of these things happening. See, right now people can't imagine that because we're in the western world you can just order something on your phone if you want to order some milk all that's going to change life is going to change drastically before your eyes and it says and houses shall be troubled okay so yes it's going to be houses people are going to be pillaging breaking into houses okay for food not for clothing, for food, for water. They're important necessities. Not your car, not these cars people are driving around in, Porsche, BMW, that's not gonna mean anything. The only thing that's gonna mean something in that time is what, faith, having faith. And men shall be afraid. You're gonna have grown men being afraid, okay? On every side, on every corner. People are not going to know what to do. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbour. Because the scripture said the love of many is going to wax cold. That's what we're going to see. We're going to start seeing the love of many waxing cold. Okay? But destroy their houses. Your neighbour that was so neighbour friendly, giving you coffee, giving you tea bags, all that's going to change. People are going to be really, people are going to be selfish. People are going to get really selfish. It's going to be like a free for all. This is how bad it's going to get. But Yahabashai, he's got his men protected. They're going to be looked after. These things are coming. And it's going to be on a large scale. But shall destroy their house with the sword. That's weaponry. 
and it doesn't mean an actual sword. It's going to have different weapons in that time. And spoiled it goods because of the lack of bread. So it's telling you because of the lack, the lack of bread. Because food's going to be controlled, food's going to be rationed. It's going to be rationed now. It's not going to be a thing where you're just picking up any food like now. All of it's going to be rationed out, controlled. You're going to have troops, and that's, that's what was happening in the UK. In certain regions, you had the troops issuing out, controlling the petrol, making sure you don't go over your limit. So yeah, everything's going to be controlled. And it says, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Why? Because it's going to be famines, scarcity. When, we, when people don't have food, what happens? They tend to lose it. So a lot of people are going to lose it. Why? Because they don't have food. They have no food in their stomach. And when people don't have food in their stomach, what happens? They turn very ignorant. Then animal insects come out. So these things are going to happen on a large scale. Okay? Famine. Okay? All these different things. And it's going to escalate. Right? That's why we've got to prepare ourselves right now. Mentally, we've got to prepare ourselves for the famine. Right? For bad times. Okay? Because the only thing that's going to get us through is faith. Nothing else. Not how much money you got because they're going to crush They're crushing the economy. And the thing about the food is the food's going to go up. The less you have of something, the price rises up. So the less you have of something, the worth goes up. So you're going to get to the point now where you, to buy some milk, it's going to be five pounds. Yes. It's going to be five pounds, maybe even more for some bread, maybe 10 pounds. This is what's going to happen. When things are precious, the value goes up. Okay. This is real. This ain't a joke. You still got men taking this truth for a joke. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's go straight to Isaiah 9. Or 19 and 9, I think it is. Nine and nineteen. For the wrath of the Lord of hosts, that means armies. Okay, and the Lord Jehovah Shai, He has an army in the heavens. Okay. Is the land darkened? The people shall be as few of the fire. So you're gonna have people getting burnt up as well. Beyond recognition. No man shall spare his brother. The scripture says it. No man shall spare his brother. People are going to get cold. Because if you have a family, you're looking, how can you feed your family? How can you feed yourself? So that's what it's going to get to that point. Okay. Verse 20, and shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry. So snatch on the right hand and be hungry. You're still going to be hungry because people, they have what? A massive appetite. And that's why brothers in this truth, it's important to me fast. Right? It's important to me fast. We pray that Yahweh gives us the spirit to what? Make it through these trying times. Because that's what's coming. Very trying times. And he shall eat to the left. Hand, and they shall not be satisfied. So what does it mean? He, so hold on, when he gathers the food in his right hand, but he's going to eat on the left hand. That means men are not going to want to share their food. That's, a, that's selfishness. People are going to turn cold, right? Because people, they don't really love each other. Bear me just a minute. People in this world, they don't really love each other. It's all fake. Right? It's all fake love. All this love you see right now, it's all fake. Most of it. Right? And it says, 
and they shall not be satisfied with the little food they have. They're going to be looking for the next meal, because all right, you found a meal, but then you're going to be looking for the next. Okay? And the people shall be as few for the... F Hold on a minute. And they shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. It happened in World War One. It happened in World War Two. So what makes you think it won't happen again today? Same thing's going to happen. And this time it's going to be on a larger scale. People, ain't re they're not ready for that. Okay? People, they're used to their comfortability. And this truth teaches us to be uncomfortable. Right? To be vigilant. And wait for the hastening of Yahweh of shine. Okay? Go to Lamentations. Straight to Lamentations. There's several accounts of this happening. Let's see if we can find it. Lamentations. This is no. You, see, when you think of this, you think of it's just suffolk in a movie. No. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? I'm usually quicker than this. Lamentations. One of those days. Let's go to Lamentations. Okay, Lamentations 4. Okay. This is Lamentations 4. And we're going to go straight to 8. It says their visage is blacker. When a call. Okay, blacker than a coal. What's that from? Malnutrition. When our people, when they're malnutrition, what happens? They lose the darkness of their skin. Okay? The skin actually turns darker. So like their skin actually turns darker when our people are malnourished. And this is account of what? Famine. Okay? Their visage is blacker than a the cold. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaving onto their bones. Unidentifiable. Because in famine you lose weight. So this was an account back then. Right? Their skin cleaveth to their bones. It is withered, it's become like a stick. So if you have a stick, you could just snap that stick. So that's famine. And that's what's coming to a city near you. Okay? They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Why? Because that's a slow, pain, agonizing way to go out by not eating. And you see it in Yemen. There's children starving in Yemen the same way. Okay, that's a horrible way to go out. Okay, that's your own sugars eating out each other. Your body's eating itself. Okay, better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through the words of the fruit of the food. These are individuals that what pine away. By the way, it means the waste. So that's what you're going to see happening. You're going to see people wasting away, pining away, begging you for a meal. But the hopeful elect, they're going to be all right. The hopeful elect, they're going to be looked after in that time. Are we going to be somewhat nervous? Yes, but we're going to be looked after. Okay. And it says, this is verse 10, the hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. They ate their own fruit. And the fruit is what? Your own offspring. Because they had no choice. 
They were starving. They needed a meal. That's what they resorted to. And anyone can say, well, I won't do that. I'll never do that. But that's what happened. Right? And it says, the has the pitiful women of sodding their own children. They were the meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Meat. Their flesh were meat. Right? Go to Deuteronomy. All these accounts are in the scriptures. Because it happened before, so it's going to happen again. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28. Right? Nothing is new underneath the sun. Alright? Deuteronomy 28. This is Deuteronomy 28, and we're going to jump straight to. 49 And Allah shall bring a nation Against thee from far Now who was that nation? It was the Roman In the time of what the Roman Empire That was that nation that was brought from afar From the end of the earth As swift as the eagle flyeth A nation whose tongue thou shalt not Understand Okay and that would be what the Romans, okay? A nation of, and what were we speaking? We were speaking Hebrew, okay? A nation of first countenance, right? The nation of first countenance was the Romans. They were known for their ferocity. They were known, scriptures talk about their sharp teeth, which represents what, that was them daggers, right? Everybody knows about the Roman Empire, okay? Where well, they should which shall not regard the person of old, nor shall favour to the young. So that what's happened what during Vespasian and Titus. So it's going to be the same thing again today. The armies, they're not going to regard young, old, same thing. Because the Roman armies would be NATO. The equivalent of NATO today. So it's going to be the same thing. All right. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. Think about the Romans when they came in, that's what they done. Out of all our cattle. And it says, Thou fruit of thy land, until thou be destroyed. So there was no fruit left. There was none. Because in war, you remove what you remove the fort, food. Okay? And Esau knows how important food is. Esau studies this. He knows how, how, how important foods are. That's why he has a control over all what? The markets. All the food stores. Who do you think owns that? The elites. Because he knows the people need food. Okay. And it says, But you also shall not leave either corn, wine or oil, or the increase of thy kind, the flocks of thy sheep, until that he have destroyed thee. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates. It says, In all thy gates. That's what you're going to have. And that's what the Romans done. In all their gates, in all their towns, in all their cities. It's going to be a besiegement. And that's going to be what? By the Roman troops. Would be, which would be classified as NATO. But that's what you're going to have. Okay? And it says... See what else we got? And he shall besiege you in all their gates until thou height and friends. Okay? Walls come down. Women that has trusted throughout all that land. That's why you can't trust it. And you know why people, most people live in the cities? Because it's convenient. Hey, that's the spirit. Hey, it says that as well. Van, our van pass best food logistics. And the vans, they're going to be controlled. Yeah, you're going to have vans that come in. Some are not going to, not, some are not going to be able to come in. Due to what? Martial law. There's going to be many things happening on a large level. Okay. And he shall besiege you in all that gates throughout the land. Which the Lord have given thee. That's why we can't trust in Egypt. That's why we can't trust nothing we got here. Because it's who going to go. Right? Get used to being uncomfortable. Get used to having less. 
Even get used to not even eating every single day or not eating as much. Get used to these things. Get used to being by yourself. You have to. Okay? Get used to praying. And this is verse 53. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, the flesh of thy sons and thy daughters. So it says they shall eat the fruit. That's cannibalism. And it's happened many empires, these things have happened. Through starvation. Okay. Which the Lord that power has given thee. So it says the Lord who have power has given thee. So the Lord made them do that. That's why you got to fear your have a shine. Because your have a shine can make you eat your loved ones. He can do that. But he ain't going to do that with a hope for a let. Right? He's going to have it where they looked after. Which the Lord shall give thee in the siege. The siege is straits, a besiegement. Okay? And in the straightness, wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee. Because that's what East is going to do. He's going to shut off particular towns, particular bombers. Right? So what, you can only go in one way, go out one way. And that's how the motorways are set up as well. You've got the M25 and another motorway. There's only one way to enter into London and one way to go out. Right? That's how Esau has set this up. One way in, one way out. Alright? And it says, We shall not have power given thee in the siege with the straightness, wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee. So this is going to happen, just like it happened 2,000 years ago. It's going to happen again. And it says, So that man that is tender among you, and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. And that's what you see going on today. Jake, Jake, they have all this energy for their own, but when it comes to Esau, they ain't got nothing to say. Okay? That's part of the curses and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave so that he will not give to any of them the, the, the flesh of his children so you're going to have those they're not going to want to share the dead bodies of their offspring and I know it sounds it sounds far-fetched but it's not far-fetched it's far-fetched to those that don't believe this going to happen but it is going to and it's going to be on a large scale because you have nothing left him in the siege so it says the reason why because he has no food and remember the plants were done away with so they weren't just doing it out of nowhere the plants were done away with the crops were um, destroyed I remember they were eating their belts everything anything they could eat okay and again, I'm not saying don't be carnal, but if you have some food to store, well, you, you store it. Because obviously you use wisdom. But what happens when that food runs out? So again, yeah, just use wisdom. Okay, nothing's wrong with storing some food. Okay, by using wisdom, you're not relying on that as a basis. Okay. Because men, they have plans, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No. Depend on Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is going to get us free. Okay? And it says, The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not eventually to set herself from her foot on the ground, her delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards her husband of her bosom, Okay, and toward her son, and toward her daughter, and toward her young one, and that cometh out from her feet, and toward her children, she, she shall bear, for she shall secretly. Her children, for she shall eat them. Okay, for she shall eat them for the want of all things secretly. And you're going to have the women that are doing that. And you know how women are, they're very, uh, You're going to have women that are doing that. 
eating their offspring. Desperate measures equals, des desperate times equals desperate measures. Okay? And it says, in the siege and in the straightness, where if thy enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates, that's what's going to happen. Why? Because it was written. Right? It was written. So it's going to happen, it's going to come to pass. Because if it, didn't, if it did not come to pass, then it wouldn't be prophecy. Okay? So reality, go to Zechariah, we're going to go to Zephaniah. And also Jeremiah. And we can't, you can't say, we never warned you. You can't say that. Okay. We got Jeremiah 16. Okay. Jeremiah 16. The word of the Lord, Jehovah Shai, came. All one to me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither have sons or daughters in this place. Okay. And that's the scripture talking about. Obviously, we're not supposed to marry the other nations. We could have concubines, but we're not supposed to marry them. Okay? For thus saith the Lord Jehovah concerning the sons and the concerning the daughters that are born in this place, concerning their mothers, okay, that bear them, and concerning their fathers that beget them in this land. Okay? In this land. They shall die of grievous, grievous deaths they shall not be lamented so people ain't going to be lamented okay you're going to okay, just ring up a funeral um i just want to hold a funeral not none of that no bear, none of it they shall not be lamented okay you're going to just have to move accordingly they shall not be lamented Neither shall they be buried. So they're not going to be buried. But they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. So you're going to have bodies that are going to be as dung. What's dung? Shit. Scattered all, all, all across the earth. And a lot of people, you have never seen that. Let alone smell a dead carcass. This is a reality. This is why I'm saying brothers that are in this faith, Take this seriously, Baba Kusha, take this seriously. Okay, don't wait to the last minute. Okay? They shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And their carcasses shall be for meat, for the fowls of the heaven, and for the beasts of the earth. So the fowls of heaven. I go on what? Have a feast day. They're gonna be eating what them carcasses. Okay. This is just the reality of things. Then just a minute. This is the reality. Um. See what else we can find. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Can't find it. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where is it? All right, I found it. This is Second Ezra, sixteen. And we're going to jump straight to eighteen. It says the beginning of sorrows. The beginning. Right? And great mourning. So you're gonna see many you're gonna see mornings, you're gonna see many people crying, lamenting. And beginning of famine, starvation, and great death. And beginning of wars. And you're seeing that as well for Ukraine, Russia. 
seeing that right now. And the power shall stand in fear. Esau, these armies, especially when they see Yahweh Shai and the chariots. They even, even the powers are going to be in fear. The forces, okay, the ambulances, they're going to give in, they're going to give in their, their badges. Even the police, they're going to give in their badges. Okay, they're not going to want to deal with the people out here. They're going to be trying to uh, what? defend themselves. Right? You got a image, you got a picture of this. Okay? And it says, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? That's what was asked. I just want to know, what am I going to do? Am I going to be looked after when this evil shall come? And that's the same thing we inquire of. Okay? Behold famine and plague and tribulation and anguish. All these things are going to be one after another. I sent a scourge for a mentor. So the scourge is, is so what? We can amend our ways for repentance. These things are going to be happening. So you can look at these things and say, well, there's obviously something that we're doing wrong. Therefore, that comes what? Repentance. So when you see these events, even when you see the things that are happening now, what, is that, what, 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 what should that do? Bring you to repentance. Right? And it says, but for all these things, they should not turn. Lord be mindful of the scourges. So even though these things are happening, people ain't gonna to wanna to turn from their wickedness. They're gonna to wanna to continue eating a bacon sarni. They're gonna continue committing adultery, continue lying, stealing, robbing. They're gonna continue, even though we're telling them, even though we're warning them. No, be mindful of the scourges. Because when you see these scourges, it's to say, well, all right, I better get right because I don't want these scourges to come upon me. That's what it's for. Okay? That's what these scourges are for. Behold, victuals. Victuals is good. Okay? Be so good cheat. Okay? Up on earth. So what's, what's victories? Good. And it says it will be cheat upon earth. Where they shall think themselves to be in good place. Still without people buying, selling. They think themselves to be in good place. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword famine and great. Great. Confusion. Why is it going to be confusion? Because the people, they're not going to know why these things are happening. Why? Because they don't have the mysteries. They don't have, they're not reading the scriptures. They don't believe. Okay. And many of them, many of them, that dwell upon the earth shall perish. Many, not some. Okay. A famine. And the other that escaped the hunger. How long does it take to die from famine or what? 40, about a week, two weeks. Go without food, water. You can't go without water without a week. Okay. Food's fine, but when it comes to water, that's a serious thing. So you're going to have many, many that perish of famine. And it's going to have a moment where what the stores, the trucks, they start bringing out food. Okay, and other, but escape the hunger. Okay, shall the sword destroy. So you may escape hunger, but then you may get caught up in a riot. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. So you see a loved one, you see someone you knew in the world.
because you're crying over them. Now you're going to have to move on. Wherever the spirit is showing you to go, you're going to have to go there. You're not going to be able to stay there weak. You're going to have to move on. So, Yahweh is building up men right now to have the strong, strong faith to be able to make it for the times to come. Okay? For the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. These great cities, bear me just a minute. There shall be no men. Stop right there. All these things are going to happen on a mass scale. A large scale. Okay. Mine's Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24. And where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Get straight to it. The city of confusion is broken down. Right? So what's the city of confusion? Babal, Babylon. And also the rest of these cities as well. They're going to be broken down. Okay. Why? Because it's going to be rioting. It's going to be pillaging. Okay. Every house is shut up. But no man may come in. Every house shut up. Lockdowns. And you've had that on a you've had that on a scale already. Just with this whole pandemic. You had them lockdowns. Remember where everything was quiet, all the stores were shut, the pubs were closed, all the markets were closed. So you're going to have them locked down again. But no man may come in. That's martial law. That's barricades. Okay? And you had that when people were going into the stores, they had to wait. They even put, um, they even put traffic lights right before the doors. Right? They even put traffic lights right before the doors before you enter into the store. So this is how bad it is. Okay? There is a crying for wine in the streets. Okay? Knowledge. Okay. Joy. Okay. All joy is darkened. And the myrrh for the land is gone. Okay, so all that joy, it's going to be dark and obviously the pubs, everything's back open again today. But all that's going to, that's all, that, that's all, that's all going to go. All that joy, mirth, having a good time. In the city is left desolation and again to smitten with destruction. Okay, and that represents these towns and cities. Remember, mass rioting. Why is it going to be mass rioting? For food, for the things that may, they may be what lacking. That's what's going to cause that rioting. So we all Isla needs to do is what? Rushing the food, and you see people sweet. Rushing the petrol. Rushing the water. Okay. Give curfews. All these things. That's all they need to do. Then you're going to see what people are losing it. Scripture says this is going to be a time that like never before. Go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 30 and 5. But thus saith the Lord Jehovah Shai, we have heard a voice of trembling and of fear and not of peace. So Jeremiah saw this and he heard this. Because the prophets had visions. They were visionaries. They were able to see these things before it would happen, before it would take place. Okay? And not of peace. Ask you now and see. Okay? A man, doth a man travel with child. Travel. Okay? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces turned into ponies? 